Hello, my name is Jim Salisbury, I'm from Iowa, and I would like to know um, how was dark matter first detected and how, how do we detect it? What, what are methods for determining where dark matter is? Hi Jim, uh, dark matter, when was it first detected? Well, astronomers began to suspect that it existed uh, many, many years ago, um, I think back in the 1930s, um, because it was uh, already recognized that we couldn't quite understand how stars orbit around our own galaxy and orbit in other galaxies. Uh, it seems that there's material out there that has gravity uh, that we cannot detect. So when you see how many stars make up a galaxy, you can estimate how, how massive they are. You calculate how much gravity they make, and it's not enough. So we knew a long time ago something was the matter. Now uh, that became a much more definite evidence uh, about 30 years ago. Uh, and since then, we've even got more kinds uh, through measurements of the gravitational forces in clusters of galaxies. Uh, and some clusters of galaxies have enough gravitational force to bend light uh, from more distant galaxies. And so we see distorted images. And because of this, we can determine the mass of the gal cluster of galaxies. And again, we find that there are galaxies which m are much more massive than we can account for by uh, looking at the ordinary matter that's in them, uh, gaseous material and stars. So the upshot is uh, we've known for a long time that something is strange out there. We even see uh, in the pattern of spots in the cosmic microwave radiation, the Big Bang radiation, that those spots can't be explained unless we imagine that there is a lot of dark matter out there that is much more abundant, uh, maybe five or ten times as abundant as the matter that we're made of. So um, that's the uh, astronomical method. Now we are hoping that someone will actually find a particle of dark matter in a laboratory one of these days. And we have two ways that this might happen. One is that a dark matter particle might actually interact with an object, a detector that we might build. And uh, my friends in, in this business say it could happen in 10 or 20 years. Uh, the other way is that maybe we'll make a particle of dark matter in a collision experiment at, say, the Large Hadron Collider, and this uh, dark matter particle would disappear without a trace. And it would take, however, with it some matter, uh, sorry, it would take away with it some energy and some momentum. And if this uh, would be true, then we would say, well, we put stuff in and we didn't get enough back out. There must be a dark matter particle that escaped from our chamber without noticing. So uh, we have these many ways to try to get at the dark matter uh, nature, uh, but none of them have succeeded yet.